You're watching Explore Tulsa. I started out as like a busboy at a chain restaurant. I got the job with like two of my friends just kind of as a, as a joke. We were just kind of like messing around and we we're like, let's just get a job together and hang out. And, um, they, they quit soon after and I was like, you know what, I kind of like working in a restaurant and worked my way up to the server and then bartender, manager, and yeah, stuck with it. Rob was the same uh, as I. Uh, we had both been in the restaurant industry for a while and decided we wanted to try it for ourselves. Um, Rob wanted to do uh, coffee and food and I wanted to do food and, and, and bar. Um, we were playing soccer together and uh, a friend had heard of me wanting to do my own thing and him wanting to do his own thing and he was like, well, you should talk to Rob. And, and so I did and we put our heads together and just combined all the different things that we were you know, thinking of. That's what a, a chimera, it's one of the definitions of it, is um, a weird fantastical idea or uh, a Greek mythological animal that's um, part lion, part snake, and part goat. Um, so the lion uh, represents, uh, you know, coffee, which uh, uh, originated in Ethiopia. Um, the uh, goat goats are known to eat everything and anything. So, and then the, the snake, of course, represents the poison, the, the alcohol. So we had that three-headed beast. We got in here, and you know, with some saws and, and some wood and started putting this whole thing together. Back in the day, you know, there was nothing really in this neighborhood, so we we had, you know, skill saws right there on the on the sidewalk and you'd see maybe like one person a day walking down the street. <laughs> I mean we both knew that this place was gonna pop up. I mean we have you know the historic canes and, and you know the um, the Brady over here and um, I mean, it was really just like pretty obvious, untapped, you know, area of town. I mean, people are gonna have to be down here for these shows and stuff. So why wouldn't they wanna like be here before the shows or stay there after the shows? Um, it just seemed like a pretty obvious place for, you know, the next big area in Tulsa. Yeah, we do do the breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, we do coffee, and alcohol, and, but we make our own kombucha. We make uh, make our own everything. We get uh, just as much of our food as we can from local farms, um, and we have good relationships with these farmers. A lot of them are our friends. And we've expanded twice since we've been open here. Uh, we uh, tripled the size of our kitchen, and then. Um, we uh, have an, an event space back there now. We have a 2,000 two foot ballroom now that uh, we just kind of do whatever we want. Um, we'll have uh, birthday parties, wedding receptions, uh, um, community events, uh, bands, um, dance parties, uh, business meetings. Um, it's just kind of up for grabs. Yeah, I think just you know having like a, a you know a unique uh, uh, menu and you know having the the, the healthy you know, meat alternative foods um, lends us to um, feeding those people that have you know a bigger worldview.